So we have the if function and then we have the ifs function. And this first function that I'm going to go through here is the ifs function because that is totally rad and new and cool. What we're going to do here, we have this data set here and we have order numbers and we have who sold these orders and we have the category for these orders, some details about price and the order size of that order. So it's a large or large order or whatever. So here we're going to add some shipping costs and I'm just going to pull some numbers out of my head and say shipping cost should be 49 bucks for a bath category shippings and for textile it should be 79 living room 99 something like that and let's let's do that in a formula if we did it in an, in an if function just with an if function it would get pretty long and we would have to nest these if functions together but with the if function we can just use one function instead and write ifs and then if the item category if the category here is equal to the bath then the shipping should be 49. if it's not equal to bath but if it's equal to let's say textiles then uh the, the shipping cost should be 79. then the th we're using multiple criteria here you can see the first one here if this is true then this that's one criteria together it's basically like the first part of the if function again and again and again so if this is true then this then if this is true then this and now you can just keep on piling on criteria here like if the, the the category is equal to living room oh living room like that then this the should be 199 like that hit enter and there we go that's basically it so there's a problem here right it's an important it's an important problem because we only defined here what happens if the criteria are true or if they're met, not if they're not met. Um, so in this case, we say that if C2 is equal to bath, then this happens. If it's equal to textile, then this happens. If it's if it's equal to living room, then this happens. But wh what if it's none of these? Then nothing happens and it returns an error. So we need to define that and we can do that in several different ways. And one of those ways is to like write in a catch-all criteria. So a criteria that is always true and that's gonna be at the end so when when excel has run through all these other things here and then at the end uh we'll put in a criteria that is all always true no matter if the others are true or not so let me just see here that criteria could be something that is always true and what is always true one equal to one that's always true right and if that is if, if that happens then maybe nothing should be here or or maybe the the, the shipping cost should be um should be 29 Let's do that and see what happens. Yep, it works. So this was introduced back in 2016. So if you have Excel 2016, you might have this. If you don't, it's because you don't have an Office 365 subscription. Check it out, just write an equal sign and ifs and see if it pops off. If it, if it does, you have it. If it doesn't, if it's just this, you don't have it.